back to my channel. Um, today I have my eyeshadow collection to share with you and here I have all of my loose shadows, shadow singles and single shadows. I like to make that distinction. These are single shadows, these are shadow singles. <laughs> um, so yeah, shall we get cracking? Because there is a lot a lot a lot here. I'm going to start with my loose shadows. They share the same drawer as my cream bronzers and I have quite a few single shadows. I have two MAC pigments. One is in tan and one is in new fixation. These are quite old. You can see the, the caps are starting to go a bit gummy but the product inside is still beautiful. I have a bunch of these Inglot pigments which are so underrated. These are beautiful and stunning. Um, I have the shade 08. Actually I'll just show you the size of the jar, it'll be easier. I have the shades 08, 13, 37 which is beautiful. They look even better swatched out, to be honest. I may do a video just on that. Uh, we have the shade 83, which I think this shade would be like perfect. I think this is a very on trend shade right now. I have the shade 64. I think that's it for Inglot ones. I have two glittery type products. This is made on glitter dust and this is Ellie Splash Swarovski. I have three loose shadows from NYX. Um, do they have names? This one is in Old Hollywood. As you can see they all still have the plastic on them. Old Hollywood, Henna and Vermouth, which is like a greeny, greeny type color. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I don't think I don't think um, Nyx make these anymore. I have two large shadows from Bare Minerals. We have Nude Beach, the cult classic, and Queen Tiffany, which is a beautiful like dark taupe shade. And then I have a bunch of little miniatures. Uh, we have a Velvet Nude, Velvet Nude, Golden Pear, which I don't think you can really see the colours, um, Velvet Charcoal. There's still, there's like half a gram, less than half a gram in each one. So little. Uh, this is a Velvet Emerald, Velvet Lavender, Lagoon, beautiful, Yoga, which is like a black with a red reflex in it, it is stunning, uh, Ginger Sugar, which again, beautiful. Velvet Mauve, Rose Gold, which is beautiful. I don't know if that's focusing, but it is beautiful. I really need to use these more. Black Leather, which is just a black with holographic shimmer in it. Uh, Toasted Espresso, beautiful dark brown. This is a Starry Night, which is a dark, dark purple. A Violet Spell, which I've actually pressed into an eyeshadow pan. This is Iridescent Iris. It's a beautiful shift here. I don't know if that's going to pick up. A Silver Dollar, which I think would make a fantastic inner corner highlight. 
And last bare metal shadow in here is Deep Sea, which is another shade I've pressed into a pan, but you can still see all the beautifulness that's left on the sides. And then lastly in here, I have my Sugar Pill shadows, which I don't know if they make half of these anymore, but they're gorgeous, so I'm keeping them. Um, this is Magpie. So, so pretty. That's Magpie. This is Darling. Goldilocks. Birthday Girl. Magnetic. Hysteric, which I've actually pressed some of this into a pan too, so that I can use them. Uh, Decora. Absinthe. Starling. Tiara. Paper Doll. And royal sugar, which this, in the day, everyone bought to mix with mixing medium to make the most beautiful blue liner. It was stunning. Stunning. Um, these mix so well with mixing medium to make a liner or just to use as damp shadows. Just They're just beautiful. I tell a lie, I do actually have two more. Um, this is a strawberry mousse and this is stay golden. Next up we have my shadow singles and there is a whole whole bunch. A lot of these are quite old so this may be a blast from the past for some people. Over in this corner I have some of the original revolution shadows. I have the shade sold out which is just stunning we have sold out eden which is this gorgeous deep deep green um mountains of gold which is just the stunning stunning rose gold revolution should really just re-release these these were just amazing these shadows especially for like a pound um this one is just me which is a dark dark or burgundy and then we have I remember which is a gorgeous kind of brow bone shade slash transition I have a couple of Kiko shades uh, this is a high pigment wet dry shadow in shade 54 beautiful burgundy uh, this is one of the smart shadows in shade 03 gorgeous sort of bronzy and then these are the lasting wet dry shadows these were like really popular for a while this is in the shade 200 because they're very close to like those baked chili highlights that everyone went gaga about about i want to say like six seven years ago <laughs> um so we have the shade 200 which is like the rose gold and then the shade 208 which is the golden one I should really pull these out and use them more. I have one from the Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder collaboration in the shade Bitter Clove. It is stunning. So, so stunning. Again, really need to use it more. Um, I have two Clinique shadows here. Uh, one is in Black Honey. is like their cult shade. They do Black Honey in so many different formations. I've also had it in a lip balm. I would love to see this in like a blush. That would be so cool. And then we have Olive in my Martini. You can almost make that shade out. It's very, it's a very dark, dark olive green. I do have two Dior ones, but I can't seem to spot the other one. This is in the shade Reflection and it's a gorgeous sort of brown with some purple reflex in it. I have two old school NARS singles. This is Lahasa, which everyone went nuts over back in about 2012. 
Um, that's how old this is. And we have Ashes to Ashes. This was back when everybody was so, so into taupes. These were like the shades to have. Comment below if you still have yours. <laughs> I have a bunch of Bobbi Browns. Again, these are quite old. I really need to get more use out of them. So we have Balsam, dark green, Cocoa, dark brown, Camel, which is like a classic. Uh, this is Burnt Sugar, which I'll open this one up because it's quite unique. It's sort of like this olivey brown wash of shimmer. It's stunning. I have Toast, which is like a camel, but lighter. Forest, which is a gorgeous wash of shimmery green. And Rich Brown, which is a nice deep, deep brown. I have a couple of shades from Avon. We have... I don't think they have the names on them. No, they don't. I have to open them. So we have a brow bone shade. Um sort of a taupey lid shade and a gorgeous navy blue oh i have a benefit shade down here actually this is where there's smoke it's just this gorgeous sort of again taupe i'm not going to swatch too many shades yeah, it's just this gorgeous taupe. It was very unique at the time. Now it's very blasé, but at the time it was like the biz. Um, I have some Laura Mercier ones over here. We have Violet Asphalt, which is actually a um, cake liner. Actually a cake liner. Uh, this is Burnished. Which is a gorgeous sort of olivey bronze shimmer wash. This is cognac, which is like burnished but more red toned. This is Cur Royale, which I have in a palette as well. It's this gorgeous sort of Merlot burgundy, perfect like crease color. This is Truffle. Again, I also have this in a palette, but this is like one of the most stunning, luxurious, buttery browns. It's so nice. And this is Baroque, which was made fam famous by the Bombshell Suite. I can't remember her actual name off the top of my head. I feel like it's Denise or something like that. Um, but yeah. She featured this on her channel again about 10 years ago and it just exploded and it was like the had to have shade. I have a whole bunch of these um, L'Oreal Colorish shades that have now been discontinued so I have a bunch of backups of some. Um, let me get them all. This is one of my all-time favourite eyeshadows and it broke. <sighs> I'm gutted. Uh, but this is Nude 204 from L'Oreal. So I do actually have two backups of this. Which is silly because I know it's silly because, you know, it's it's such a, like, easily dupable shade. But just the texture and the formulation. I just freaking love this particular shadow. So I do have two backups of it. Like the clasp on it is broken. Oh, I loved it. It goes. It looks so nice on everyone. Um, we have Matte 06. Matte 07. Uh, this one is a Lumiere shade in Quartz Fumé. It is so dark and smoky. This is one I also really love. This is Escape in Bordeaux. Oh. I know I said I wouldn't swatch, but just, it's just stunning. That all over the lid is just stunning. And then I also have this one in Nude 205, which is called Sable Lame, which is just like, oh, it's such a 
it's such a sheer wash of shimmer it's just beautiful i think that would be great as like an inner corner or like a topper just just beautiful just beautiful i have a bunch of urban decays we have ydk um these are the moon dust shadows we have zodiac which i keep trying to pan and it's just never gonna happen so i should just give up this is intergalactic I need to just enjoy these for what they are. Space Cowboy, which I freaking love. It's what kicked it all off with the moon dust shadows for me. And this is Diamond Dog. We have Snake Bite. Midnight Rodeo. And Roach. I have two Max Factor singles left over. This is Auburn Envy and Feral Brown. I just love that name, Feral Brown. Give us, oh, look at that color. Look at that color. Isn't that just beautiful? I used to wear that shade all the time. I have four from number seven. We have Matte Calico, which is a multiple times repurchased brow bone shade. Before I used to mostly work out of palettes. I used to I used to go through brow bone shades like nobody's business. We have the shade Mink. These are ones I decluttered and repurchased. Uh, Wheat Sheaf. So pretty and um moroccan sands which i've seen in a few people's collections and they use it as a blush which is kind of a funky idea but yeah it's beautiful i have a bunch of color pop shadows we have frog um, this is melrose Root Punch, Ritz, so so pretty, I actually have two of Ritz, yeah, there's both my Ritzes, and this is Kush, which I had before and decluttered, so I'm quite happy to have it again, and I heart this, so pretty. And that just leaves my NYX shadows and my sugar pills, which I'll quickly run through my NYX shadows. We have Confession. Burlesque. Addiction. Fancy that. Golden Chamber. Trist, birthday suit, it's a matte pale pink, in trend, lust, illusion, bling, Own the night. Haywire. Loaded. A lot of matte browns here. Do I need so many matte browns? Am I in need of a purge? Betrayal. Coquette. Damage control. Ooh, that one is actually really pretty. Let's swatch that one. Ooh, it's got like blue shimmer in it. Hello. Galactic, gorgeous navy blue. Heat. Pixie dust. Boomerang. 
dry the pearls. Fetish. Sentiment. I've used that one a lot. Velvet. Flustered. Soprano. Again, I've used that one a lot too. Sable. And Asphyxiation. I've also got a MAC shadow here. This is in Cut to Fit. I should also have a MAC shadow here in Gazette Grey, but I don't know where it is. Um, I have three last NYX shadows here. This one is in the shade Lapdance, again a brow bone shade, which I should just use up and move out. This is in Kush, a NYX matte green. And STFU, the yellow shade that everyone went nuts over a couple of years back. And in here, that just leaves my sugar pill shadows. So we have the special shade, um, which just has expellatives on the back. A shimmery bright red. We have a poison plum. I'm not going to open these ones. You can see the colours. Uh, Velocity. 2AM. Maduri. I love this one. Acid berry. Mochi, Love Plus, the classic must-have red, Dolly Pop, I use that one a lot too, uh, After Party, which I really like this one, I haven't used it a whole bunch but I do like it, and then we have Flame Point, which is a gorgeous matte orange. Now this next section, I'm not going to go through each individual shadow because it will just be way, 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 way too much. Um, but if you would like an individual video on each, let me know. You probably wouldn't want one on the Coastal Sense ones I'm about to show you because Coastal Sense no longer exists. But if you want it as like a reminder or as a resource or something. I could do that. Now in this palette, only one of these is actually a MAC shadow and that's this one here, it's Stars and Rockets. The other three are the ones that I um, pressed from my loose shadows. So we have like, I think it was called Deep Sea, the uh, Hysteric and whatever, I think it was Violet Spell. We have a whole bunch of brown and nudie tones from MAC. And these are my most used and most loved from MAC. There is also a quad that I forgot to bring through because it's a bit shattered and I don't want to spill it. Um, but these are my most used and most loved MAC shadows right there. I have some ColourPop shadows. These are all fairly recent purchases and I haven't actually had a chance to play with them yet so that's why they look all brand spanking new. Because they is. I've only swatched them. Here we have my Colourpop shadow, um, not Colourpop, Coastal Sense shadows in their Coastal Sense palettes. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they stunning? I accidentally left a cotton pad of uh, with varnish remover sitting on there. That's why it's gone all funky. But uh, I made both of these little sets. Um, I wish I'd gotten a couple more of these little palettes before they'd closed. Because they're still super handy. Um, I just go through and make up my own little colour stories out of them. Um, this one I used for like almost a month solid. This, this colour story. I love like these shades. I think that one's pumpkin spice and rose something. and oh, They're just... They're just gorgeous and stunning and it's kind of sad that Coastal Sense no longer exists. Like some of this, this shade right here is a stunner. 
it has a beautiful it's it's perfect for people who want to dabble in that sort of shifting duochrome but you don't want anything that's like hyper reflective like you would get from maybe a Natasha Denona or um or one of the indie brands it's just stunning and that I got that do that shadow for a dollar I'm gonna pop out just real quick so I can see what it's actually called that shade was called cherry moss so if you have cherry moss moss in your stash I would highly recommend pulling it out because it is gorgeous so those are my two that I sort of made up little palettes of and then I have five actual palettes full of shadows so there's ones that I tried to make a lot sort of um, a cool toned smoky look we have all these bad boys here all of like your lighter sort of shimmers yellows pastels these ones are a lot more vibrant they're not organized in any way I just kind of plonked them in where they would fit but I just love like the brightness the vibrant shades the the browns are beautiful and I don't have the full set I will say that there was about 50 or so that I wasn't able to get when I placed my order originally I had intended to go back for um but I didn't manage to and then this is the last one like the way they're hodgepodge together they almost look like Norvina palettes <laughs> And then lastly, I have these Morphe palettes, which don't, well, some do have Morphe shadows in them, but yeah. This palette here has um, a mixture of Makeup Geek, um, some NYX shadows, and Anastasia. Is that in frame? Yes. Yes, it was. So most of these ones up here are... NYX ones, some Makeup Geek and Anastasia. This one here has the rest of my Makeup Geek shadows and some Inglot. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they stunning? This bad boy has the rest of my Inglot and a lot of these shadows are a good 10 years old and they still perform beautifully. So um, I kind of want to dabble into them. I wish Morphe still did these big palettes. If they do, they are such a good... Like, they don't have a mirror, they're not see-through or anything, they're nothing fancy, but they do the job. They're beautiful. And then this one has the Morphe shades in it. These are the Big Pan Morphe shades that they did for a while and they stopped. Um, they aren't... They are powdery, they are a bit bitty in formulation, but they are beautiful. As you can see, I have some great big dips in some of them. These highlights are stunning. These greeny shades are stunning. And some of these purples have such beautiful shifts. And then I have two Makeup Forever shades. They're the only two Makeup Forever shadows I own. And this is actually, I think it's called Summer. Yeah, Summer from Anastasia. It just kind of uh, found its way in here. And those are all of my loose shadows, shadow singles, and single shadows. Um, as I say, if you would like a more in-depth video in anything, let me know. Like if you'd want, if you want to see my sugar pills swatched out, those Inglot shadows. I really want to show you guys those Inglot shadows. Like, especially the, the, the pigment ones, because they are beautiful. And Inglot are very, um, they're not known for bringing stuff out and discontinuing it very quickly. So most of it will probably still be still available. Um, and also, I want to do a few duping videos. So the Coastal Scents, like I know a lot of people have Coastal scent shadows. So I'm, I may feature the Coastal scent shadows in comparison videos for anyone who may have them in their stash so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video wasn't too long um and i hope you enjoyed my my little little swatcheroos there <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching and bye bye